We need to store state information for lots of reasons. Take for example a simple client application that displays images. And you can navigate through these images with the previous and next buttons. If you're going to click on the next button something needs to know where you are now in order to work out what comes next. When we're viewing picture 2 and we ask for the next picture the server needs to know to send picture 3. Now there's a number of ways you could implement this at an API level and the two main approaches would involve 1. Storing the client's state on the server 2. Storing the client state within the client. Now let's just imagine that it's the server that remembers what this state is. This is a perfectly legitimate way to design things, but as we'll see, doesn't conform to our restful approach to designing APIs. And all this little client app needs to do is to make a request to the API to get the next image. The client just asks for the next picture. So how does the server know what the next picture is? Well for that, the server needs to know what picture the client is already looking at. So that the server can send the next picture which is picture 3. So essentially the server is storing and recording the current state of the client in order to know what the next picture is. Now this is not a RESTful API. The server has to remember the client state, which goes against the stateless principle of a RESTful API. So if the server isn't supposed to remember the state, then that means the client must remember the state. And crucially, that client must transfer the state in the requests to the server. So a RESTful API request might look something like this get from your host pictures current state 3 next so this is where the client sends the number 3 in the request which is essentially the state being transferred from the client to the server so the server doesn't need to remember the state of the client the client must send all the information required in each request which will include the relevant client state information required by the server in order to provide the correct response. So now you understand both of the core concepts in REST. Watch the last video in the series for a quick 30 second recap.